not be more cautious. She ain't wired that way. Oh, dead shots. Until we figure out where the hell we are, let's play along with Waller. Oh, is this a superhero museum? Hate superheroes. And museums. <clears throat> I've seen it on TV. It's the Hall of Justice. So let's rock the place! Idiot! <clears throat> <sighs> Hey there, I'm Superman, and I'm so glad you're visiting the Hall of Justice. I come here every day to meet with my very best friends, the Justice League. Say, now that you're here, I think that makes us pals too. Wonder Woman thought it would be a good idea to open our doors and introduce ourselves. First off, I'm not from Metropolis. I'm not even from Earth. When I was even younger than you, my world was dying, so my mom and dad sent me to a beautiful blue planet far away. Some really nice people raised me, even though I came from another world, even though I was different. I love this world, my friends, and yes, even Batman. Let's make a promise, everyone. We'll always try to help. Always give people a chance, no matter who they are or where they're from. And we'll always watch out for one another. Through these doors lies the inner sanctum of the Justice League. Sounds very grand, doesn't it? And it is. The inner sanctum is where we all first agreed to form the League. And since that day, it's become the nerve center of the League, where we plan for battle against forces too great for any one of us to face alone. Sorry, we can't allow visitors to the Sanctum. But if you dedicate yourself to good, to being a champion of peace and protecting others no matter what, you can join the Justice League and join us inside. Greetings. I'm Wonder Woman. But you can call me by my real name, Diana. I was born on Themyscira, the secret island home of the Amazons. As a child, I grew up believing I would remain on Themyscira with my Amazonian sisters. That is, until I learned a big secret. Would you like to hear it? I learned that I was the daughter of Zeus, ruler of the gods. From my father's side of the family, I was given the strength to wield my impenetrable gauntlets, my sword, and, most importantly, my magic lasso, which compels anyone to tell the truth. How could I remain on Themyscira with all of these gifts? When I learned that your world was still at war, that the strong hurt the weak, I knew it was my duty to help. Despite my mother's concerns, I decided I should join humanity. I would come as a warrior of peace, a protector. I miss my home. But I've made new friends, like the Justice League. There's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. And alongside them, nothing can stop us in our fight for a better world. I have read much about the Justice League. And still, they are larger than I expected. Oh, hey. Those holograms uh, aren't actual size, Shark Man. Look, I know I've been called the fastest man I alive. I know that. But sure, it's true. Though Superman might disagree. He'd also tell you that I didn't outrun the lightning bolt that hit my lab. <laughs> but that was before I could draw energy from an interdimensional power source called the Speed Force. It's like the universe's biggest supercharged battery, and it never runs out. That's my secret. With the Speed Force, I can do a lot more than just run fast. I can whip up a cyclone. I can vibrate my body's molecules so fast I disappear. <laughs> it's also good for getting out of tough spots. And kids, let me tell you, being chased by lightning when I run is pretty cool. 
But the Justice League isn't only about what I can do. And it's not really about what the others can do either. It's all about you. You can be a superhero every day by doing the right thing. It's you who inspire us to be great. So thank you. You're in the League's quartermaster area. Sometimes, having a Green Lantern ring or being super fast aren't enough to deal with the bad guys. That's why we work with super smart engineers like our friend Lucius Fox from Wayne Tech. His inventions help us understand supervillains' powers, then take them down. All while keeping you safe. Despite what Flash may have told you, my cowls aren't just a fancy Halloween mask. They're equipped with augmented vision lenses, so I never miss a clue. And a comlink that lets me talk to my friends in the Justice League. Before I joined the League, I relied on these cowls to keep my identity top secret. Each one is lined with lead, so no one can peek under them. Not even Superman. Far, far away from here, there's a planet called Oa, home to the Guardians. The Guardians are really old, tiny, blue, and super smart. Maybe smarter than Batman. <laughs> the Guardians created these rings. They're powerful, even a little dangerous. But if a ring chooses you, you can use it to make anything you imagine. Green Lanterns like me are peacekeepers. The Guardians picked us from all over the universe. Well, I come from here on Earth. Used to be a Marine, but in the Lantern Corps, I'm more of an intergalactic policeman. A Green Lantern uses their ring to help people when they can, and stop the bad guys when they have to. I'm the Green Lantern of Sector 2814, and I'm proud to defend this planet alongside my friends in the Justice League. Typical hero crap. Big ass gold palace to show the world how super they are. Yeah, they'd ever want a nice house to live in. It pales before the majesty of my home. I think this place could fit all the homes I ever lived in. Criminals can strike anywhere, anytime. And when they do, I need to be ready. Bat pods are my mobile preparedness units. A little like one of your backpacks. If your backpacks had cutting edge stealth technology. Bat pods contain everything I need, from my bat suit to my bat gadgets. They can be deployed almost anywhere in the world. That means wherever people need help, I'll be there. The souvenirs that we keep in the hall aren't just here to look cool. But I'm not gonna lie, I have tried on Riddler's bowler hat. We put these items on display to share some of the adventures the League has been on. And the bad guys we've defeated. All of us in the Justice League believe that part of being a hero isn't just remembering the good stuff, but the bad stuff too. That's what makes us stronger. That's what really makes a hero. Oh, even his flaming hologram smug. I was born Bruce Wayne, citizen of Gotham. At too young an age, I lost my parents to the city's greatest enemy, crime. From that day forward, I swore I would dedicate my life to defeating those who would prey on the heart and the spirit of Gotham. So I became a symbol. Something even evil would fear. I became vengeance. I became the knight. I became that man. Of course, I'd have to rely on more than just my wits. I'd have to work hard, train every day to fight against crime. I'd have to design high-tech tools, equipment, and the most advanced vehicles you've ever seen. Before, I had allies, but I thought I had to push them away to protect them. It's cramped, but better than the insulated Faraday cage will have me in. So... The wall says you got a tracker for Lex rigged up. 
key to Luther's heartbeat and good at a range of five miles. Just apply the code to your comms. You just have to follow the dots to the bald billionaire. Oh, and before you head out, check in with Cash. He wants to bribe you to do some good. Hmm, I like bribe, but I love turning guys into ice. But we have yet to turn anyone into ice. I know. Shark, you and the...